Hello and welcome to my new video on the Euler Gamma function. In this video we will try to crack these strange looking integrals from 0 to infinity sinus u squared du. Okay, and also for the cosinus and we will get a very strange result square root of 2 pi over 4 for both integrals. Okay, you might ask yourself, hey, why don't you solve this integral? It looks pretty easy. Okay, and actually I must tell you that this is not possible. There is no way to express the integral of this function in a finite representation. Okay, it is always uh, infinite sum that you have to use. And this is the problem about it. And one can solve this problem by using again complex analysis and the residue theorem. But like I told you in the video before, we are talking about the Euler gamma function. So let's use the results for that. And maybe you remember Euler had this big uh, formula that he derived. Uh, and this formula is like the world formula. Physicists look for it. Euler al already had it hundreds of years before. Okay. Now what can we do then? Okay, actually these integrals are called Fresnel integrals and they are very, very important in quantum mechanics. But I won't go into the details why they are important, so let's let's just learn how to derive them. Okay? Let's first have a look again at our super formula. It's gamma of s over n multiplied with the magnitude of p to the s sinus alpha of s. So I chose sinus because we seem to have a problem with the sinus. Sorry. And here we have the right hand side. Now let's look how we can get this. The n has to be equal to 2. Okay. Everywhere where we have n is equal to 2. b has to be equal to 1. a has to be equal to 0 because this is not part of the integral above. Now here comes the tricky part. If n is equal to 2, s has to be equal to 1 half, so we get a 0 here above. Okay, why a 0? So that this part is not important anymore. Okay, so we only end up having a sinus function. So let's comprehend. We had a equals 0, this was the part in the exponential. b equals to 1, n equals to 2, this is the power of our variable u. Then s was chosen as 1 half in order to make s multiplied with n equal to 1. So this canceled out here. And uh, we need another element, which is just uh, the gamma function and the value 1 half. I have a video on that. So if you don't know how to derive that or how I got this, please look up my videos. Uh, you can actually look into the playlist of this video to find it. It's called gamma of 1 half. Okay. Now, we will just plug all these values into our integral. But before we do that, let's calculate the small bits we need for the left-hand side, p. The magnitude of p is a squared plus b squared. Uh, look at this. We only have b and b squared. And taking the square root of it gives us 1. And we have an angle of pi half. You know that. If you have um, a tangent of alpha, which gives you an infinite large value, then alpha has to be pi half. Okay? And we know that this is pi half because this is positive and this is positive. Uh, if this would be negative, then we would have minus pi half. Okay? So mm, that's also important, but this is not the problem here. Okay? Uh, we got these and we are just plugging them in. So 1 over n, this is 1 over 2, what we have here. Then gamma of 1 half, p uh, has the magnitude of 1, so we can just um, ignore this. And sinus of pi half multiplied 1 half, okay? Alpha was pi half and multiplied this by half, uh, you get pi over 4. Now let's look at these bodies. This is 1 half, this is square root of pi, and what is this? It's 1 half square root of 2, it's pretty simple elementary trigonometrics. So what we get is this integral. Okay? Pretty cool. Now, let's look at the second integral that we had, uh, which is just the cosinus of u squared du. This is, again, pretty simple. We use the formula, the world formula of Euler, which is just uh, 
instead of using sinus here, we just plug in the cosinus and all uh, everything else stays the same. Now again, you see the values, n is equal to 2, b is equal to 1, a is equal to 0, and here we get, again, the pair 2, 1 half. Okay? So let's plug them in again here. Gamma of 1 half is pi, square root of pi. The p value didn't change because a is still 0, b is equal to 0, and the alpha value is still pi over 2. Let's uh, plug them in. We get 1 half, gamma of 1 half, cosinus of pi over 4, equals the infinite integral um, from 0 to infinity cosinus u d u. Now, let's look at this left-hand side. This is 1 half. This is square root of pi. And cosinus of pi over 4 is just square root of 2 over 2, okay? Or 1 half square root of 2. And now you see why this happened. Because for this special uh, combination for u square, what happened is that the cosinus and sinus um, function have the same angle. It's, uh, if you imagine the unit circle, it's 45 degree. This is the only point in the range from 0 to 90 degrees where it's equal to each other. So the integrals had to be equal to each other. So our result, very similar to the sinus function, uh, we get the integral from 0 to infinity of cosinus u squared du is equal to the square root of 2 pi over 4. Now, pay attention. Our boundaries are from 0 to infinity. Sometimes you might see this, these integrals, called Fresnel integrals, start from minus infinity to infinity. Actually, if you look at the integrand, it's an even function. It was the same for the sinus uh, because we are squaring. So what would happen is you would just get the double value here. So you would have to double the value to get the integral from minus infinity to infinity, which, which would just be a square root of 2 pi over 2. Okay? And this actually concludes this lecture. I hope you had fun. And if you like my videos, please subscribe. If you have questions, feel free to comment. And that's actually it. So see you guys.